Yo, welcome back everybody to a main piece of life. One, one deck video, and today we're gonna look at the Maractus Snorlax deck. I think this is actually the best tool drop deck right now in our format. I think it's better than Electrode and Pachirisu, and that's mainly because Maractus is a grass type Pokemon, which of course is really relevant right now, and it combines really nicely with Snorlax. Of course, Maractus does have the attack Ditch and Shake, where you can discard any number of tools from your hand. It does 50 damage for each tool discarded in this way. Combine that with Snorlax here with uh, Vicariousness, which allows you to put two leftovers from your discard back into your hand. You can put up the four leftovers in your hand with double Snorlax and then discard four leftovers for 200 damage with Ditch and Shake. And that's enough damage, of course, to knock out Charizard EX in one hit, which is weak to grass. That's one of the main reasons why I think Maractus is the best tool dropper because its type is so good. And you're able to just use leftovers every single turn instead of attaching to all your Pokemon. And uh, Maractus also being a basic is nice too. It's a bit more easier to put into play. I think the main downside is it does require two energy, but we are playing at one Cherim, and uh, we have Raihan and EXP share to help us make sure we're chaining Maractus attacks every single turn. But before you get the video, I do want to give a big thank you to everybody for helping me reach 50,000 subscribers. We just hit 50k subs yesterday, and I am extremely grateful for the 50k milestone. It's a huge achievement here on the channel. I would say, like, when I started YouTube back in 2013, I mean, I didn't expect to get this far. I was making, like, Call of Duty videos on my phone. Like, they were just some, just mid videos. But to kind of see where we're at now is crazy. I would say, like, my channel really started to take off during, like, 2020. Um, March 2020 is when I saw my channel really get a lot of growth. And that's, I guess, when things really got shifted into gear. And I had seven thousand subs at the start that that would that would be when i say like my channel really start to take off right so i had 7k subs and now we're already at 50k subs three years later which is just wild and i want to thank you all once again for 50k subs hopefully we can hit 100k soon maybe 2025 maybe we can hit 100k subs i'm really excited for the future here on the channel and i want to thank you all once again for all the support and the growth on the channel and uh all of that good stuff. I mean, hey, we're even getting close to 10,000 subs on the second channel. Another big milestone for that. So I want to thank you all once again for all the support and all that good stuff. And before we do the video, Crush Out 2, the sponsor Card Cabin TCG, of course, if you're going to get any PCG Live pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin, whether you're, of course, looking for 151 codes or older sets, or you want to get some IRL product to Card Cabin, just a IRL product over there too. If you get the ad card cabin at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a car cabin. So shout out Car Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below every Monday. I post a video over on their channel. You can also check out my second channel down below, like I said, and the podcast channel, The Mental My Podcast. Every Friday, me and Linty upload an episode of our pod. We just had Celio's Network on for this uh, previous Friday's episode, and we're going to have another episode on Friday, so definitely be hyped for that. But let's take a look here at the Maractus list. So here's the list I'm working with for Maractus. Um, and again, I think it's the best tool drop attacker just because it's a grass type. The only downside is you have to have the tools in your hand instead of in play, but that does mean you can have more tools and more damage output. The problem with like, I don't know, Electrode and Pachirisu is you have to have like Haunch Crows in play to do more damage. But with Maractus, you just have to have tools in your hand. And we can combine that with Toolbox, which lets you look at the top seven cards of your deck. Put any number of tool cards you find there into your hand. Really good card as you're able to, of course, put a bunch of tools in your hand. Sometimes we want to go for a big knockout with Maractus. Um, yeah, we got four leftovers. We got eventual punch. We got four EXP share, four choice spell for extra tool synergy. Um, seven grass synergy. We got the Raihan EXP share to try to get energy into play. I am playing Artisan. You might be like, why are you playing Town Store or Shopping Center? Aren't those just better stadiums? Yeah, I mean, Town Store is okay. It obviously does give you a free plus 50 damage. But at the same time, Artisan, it lets you put basics into play, which it's, it's kind of good. Like, you kind of need it for your setup. This deck does require a lot of setup. And I, I, well, not a lot of setup, but the deck does require setup, right? And I do feel like setting up is more important than just doing 50 more damage. Like, Town Store is good maybe in the later part of the game, the early game, we need the Artisan. And I think Artisan is overall better than Town Store because I would rather just set my board up, right? So, you can play Town Store if you want. Um, I am playing Cleffa to set you up. I mean, if Cleffa, you know, does its thing, gets knocked out, you can go into Maractus and... You know, drawing up seven cards sometimes gets you into a pretty big handful of tool cards. It's just here for setup. I'm a big fan of playing Clefa. I know a lot of people are like, ooh, you play Clefa. It's only got 30 HP. Well, I'll have you know, if you're playing against Lost Zone with this deck anyways, you take the big fat L regardless. So who cares if you have a 30 HP Clefa? Like, there's no other matchup where 30 HP is really that relevant in my opinion. So who cares? Um, just get that out of the way. I've had too many people say, why are you playing Clefa, man? It's like, bro, I'm already playing a single prize deck. It's not like I'm going to beat Lost Box anyways. Who cares if I'm playing a 30 HP setup Pokemon for a matchup I'm going to auto lose to anyways. So there you go. There's your explanation. I'm a Clefa stan. I've been loving this card. 
Um, yeah, it's uh, Butter for the List. I am playing the one of Cherim just to help you get energy on Maractus. Sometimes you're playing against a deck with a lot of Lost Vacuum, or sometimes you have to get rid of EXP share to hit higher numbers, and that's when you sometimes need Cherim to bail you out so you can make sure you attack with another Maractus. Let's go show off my Maractus deck on live and see what it's all about. All right, looks like we're up against Charizard because my opponent opens with a Radiant Zard. My opening hand is fine. We got an Artisan at least, which can get us Maractus. We have Iono in the hand too, which is good. Uh, we do have Toolbox. Don't really think I want to play that, though, though we could. Probably not worth it. There's an Ultra Ball getting played by my opponent. I will see what my opponent is running. Is it Charizard? It's most likely, but you never know. There could be other decks that are out there. It is Charizard. See an Arvin and a Boss get discarded. Boss's order is fine. They only have so many of those to work with, so that could be good. I mean, it's pretty good they open Radiant Zard because they have to move it out of the active spot, which could be challenging, which is nice. And if they don't have a Battle VIP turn one... It'd also be pretty good. They can't get as many Manders down. I am a little worried about them getting Pidgey on play, obviously. That's like the big thing. Do they actually have a Switch in their hand? Bro, no shot they have the Switch, too. Hopefully they don't. I don't want them to be able to turn to Charizard me, because they went first. That'd be kind of annoying if they did that. I think they have the Switch. Otherwise, they wouldn't have grabbed Mew. No, they don't have a Switch. Surprised they grabbed Mew. Okay, well. We are going to be giving them an Iono plus a uh, little... We're going to give him an Iono here and an Artisan, but it's fine. Uh, I think I'm an Artisan. I want to get an energy off this Iono, so I'm going to grab Cleffa. Yeah, we're going to be giving them the Iono anyways. I mean, I got to give him six new cards. I hate to do it, but I do need to draw cards here so I can set up. Okay, cool. Got Leftovers. I'll put that on Cleffa. We can play Switch or I can Retreat. We have Ryan in the hand. We might as well just retreat. We'll save the switch for the Snorlax, and then we'll Nest Ball for uh, Bidoof, I guess. And then we'll Grasping Draw here for a nice big hand of four new cards. Not bad. Another Maractus. We got EXP Share. We got pretty good stuff. I don't think we're getting KO'd this turn, though. So my opponent did not get a Charmander down turn one, which is bizarre. Surprised they went for Mew. I mean, now they can get a switch, right? They can just Arvin for switch if they have it, so... And they also have the Artisan to work with. Maybe I should have played Switch. I could have attached to Maractus and went for a boss, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have put the Leftovers on, because it's not going to heal. Oh, there's Entei. Probably not going to see the Entei attack me this turn. Entei, we can knock out. We just need, what, four tools? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have put the Leftovers on Clef. I kind of regret that now, actually. There's the Arvin getting played. Yeah, that'll probably get them the switch. They could get a escape rope, which could be kind of annoying, actually. Well, I have switch in hand, actually, but... Yeah, they get rope here, which would force me to play the switch. No, they don't. They get a four seal stone and an ultra ball. Hmm. They could have basin. I mean, there is a world where they actually can knock me out this turn. If they have a magma basin, it is possible. It is possible to KO Cleffa here if they have a magma basin. Hmm. We'll see what's up. Yeah, they have, like, Basin and Switch. I mean, they need a lot to pull that off, but when they have, like, Forest Seal Stone, it's not impossible, I guess? I don't know. I mean, they can attack with the Radiant Zard next turn, though, and it looks like maybe that's what they're eyeing up here. But now I could just Iono their hand away, which I'm probably going to do. Oh, we'll just Iono those cards away. I mean, they'll still get the Charizard, obviously, but we'll still, like, refresh our hand. All right, we got a Grass Energy. Put that on Maractus. We have a bunch of tools in the hand, too. Hmm. Need a bench Snorlax. I'm going to Artisan get Snorlax here, I think. Hmm. I need to put those leftovers in play, but I don't want to. Could put Ventral Punch on. I wanna I wanna play a tool here. I need to draw more cards. I didn't really get the greatest hand off the Iono. Tempted to Ventral Punch my Maractus. Sure. I don't want to waste too many tools, but I need to draw cards. Okay, we got Bibberol. That'll help. We got boss two. Hmm. We're doing what, a hundred right now? With Ditch and Shake? 
Because if they go like Rare Kidney Zard, maybe I can boss knock it out. If I can draw more tools, it's possible to kill the Charizard. There's Pidgey. I don't really want to get Pidgey on play, though, but I don't really want to boss it. Yeah, them getting Pidgey on play could be a problem, but we'll see. Or maybe it won't be a problem. I don't know. Probably. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what they do, though. My opponent does have a six-card hand, and they have to bench Luminion. Ooh, that could be a good boss target, actually, too. Kind of glad I own them now, as they're forced to play Luminion down to guarantee their Charizard. If they attack with Radiant Zard, I mean, not the end of the world, because we'll be doing, what, 100? Annoyingly, it has 160 HP. It's actually kind of tanky. Yeah, Charizard's actually kind of tanky. I have to knock it out with, um... I have to knock it out with four tools still, which is kind of uh, insane, to be honest. Hmm. If I draw a tool here, an energy, that'd be great. I might just go after their Charizard this turn, try to knock it out. I'm tempted to do that. They only have one Charmander in play, too, so that kind of makes that play even better, to be honest. Because they have to commit a lot of energy to this Charizard. If they're going to attack with Radiant Charizard here, they have to commit a lot of energy to it. Hmm. I guess they they could play an escape rope here, which is annoying. If they rope, we can just go give them Snorlax, though, right? Though I need the leftovers. Yeah, rope could be a bit of an issue if they, if they ever rope here. Rope kind of sucks. Yeah, I, rope could actually be a bit of a problem for us the more I think about it. We'll see if they do. We do have a decent enough discard fodder. We can get rid of leftovers. Probably the artisan. Actually, we can get rid of Maractus, I guess, if we're going to super rot. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Leftovers is kind of free bait here because we can always just put it back with Snorlax. So. And I want to knock out that uh, Charizard EX if I can. I definitely want to try to kill the Charizard. Let's see if they're going to go attack with the EX or the Radiant Zard. In order to attack a Radiant Zard, they need to put five energy. They need to put f another energy on. Oh, looks like they're, you know, they're going for the Charizard EX. I'd be very surprised if we didn't get KO'd here. They're trolling if they don't knock me out. They're actually trolling. Are they trolling? Dude, are they not going to KO me? And there it is. Hmm. It's fine. We can get the Snorlax back into play. This is now annoying. It's out of leftovers. This is kind of what I was worried about was going to happen. Yeah, I shouldn't have put leftovers on Cleffa. That was a mistake. I mean, I could Cleffa again, I guess. But then they get Pidgeot and they boss me, which is not good. I think we just got to start attacking them. Dang it, Cleffa. Why you got to have the leftovers on you? No. Yeah, Rope is dirty, man. That's a dirty card. Thankfully, they only play one. We don't have to deal with it again. That sucks. I'll figure something out, I guess. Feels bad. All right, what do we top deck here? Energy? Bruno? Bruno's pretty good, too. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Here are these two. Grab Bibberol. Do I Bibberol first or last? I don't think it matters, right? I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I meant to get the Snorlax back there as a misplay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. I meant to put Snorlax back in the deck before I did that. I can always Clef if I really have to, though. Like, I'm not I'm not actually concerned about that. Go okay, Bibber for one before I Bruno. That was Bruno. So we got here. No knockout. Yeah, we need to get the Snorlax. I wouldn't have had the KO if I got Snorlax anyways. Makes me feel a bit better. Hmm. We'll Clef, I guess. We got Iono. Special Punch. We have three tools in the hand. Plus, the Artisan gets the Snorlax. That's four. We're close to a knockout on the Entei. We can knock out the uh, we can knock out the Charizard next turn, actually. Okay, if my opponent doesn't Iono me, uh, we'll, or boss my Maractus on the bench, we'll boss kill their uh, Charizard EX. Yeah, it's fine. I actually don't mind Clef again. I mean, this matchup's not... I mean, all we have to really do is take three knockouts consecutively. It's really not that hard. Like, giving up the couple prizes here to set up really doesn't... It doesn't really matter too much, but... We'll see if they get Pidgeot here. This is what I'm worried about. They can Pidgeot and then boss me, which is a bit of an issue. Though, if they boss my Maractus and they knock it out with eventual punch, it's easier for us to KO it. So, that's fine if they do that, to be honest. We'll see what they're going to do here. 
They have eight cards in their hand right now, so let's see what they have working. Fire energy. I guess the Radiant Zard's kind of annoying. Maybe we should save the boss then for the Radiant Zard. No, they have an Iono. That's a good Iono. I lose. That was a lot of good cards to lose. Damn it. A lot of tools. Oh, we got Toolbox. It's not bad, actually. We got Snorlax, Bruno. Okay, this isn't actually that bad. Still don't have a knockout, though, unless we get... I need three tools to KO them off of Toolbox. I don't think that's going to happen. It's not ideal. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good Iono. Damn it. Why did they have to Iono me, bro? I had a good hand. Reek. Okay, that's fine. We got two leftovers in there. Can only get two leftovers back at a time, though, which is a problem. Okay, double toolbox. That should give me the two tools then, right? Give me Artisan first, just to th shuffle the deck. So the tools went to the bottom. Hopefully we'll be closer to the top. Hmm. Should we toolbox first? I think we just go for it. Yeah, we'll just go for it. We got the knockout, baby. Let's go. Give me all them tools. Bench Snorlax. Play the whatever the ability is. Grab the leftovers. And then... Got all four in hand, which is actually pretty sick. And then, yeah, we'll just uh, ditch and shake. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's a knockout. 250 damage, you're dead. Maybe could have got rid of Ventral Punch instead of Belt. I don't think it really matters too much, though. It shouldn't matter. All right, let's see what our two prizes are. We don't get the Snorlax out of the prizes. That's a little annoying. But if my opponent... I mean, they're going to have to go Radiant Charizard here, though, right? No, they're going Charizard EX. All right, that's fine. We can knock out the Charizard this turn again. We have another knockout in hand. As long as we have four tools, we KO. And then we set the KO Lumini on for a game. I can probably Bruno, to be honest. And I kind of have to. I need an energy. I will right, we'll see what they do here. What are we looking at right now? Four leftovers. Yeah, we need to get that Snorlax out of the prizes. Kind of sucks we didn't get Snorlax. My opponent's probably going to need to get another Charmander in play here. And they need another Charmander. We'll see if they grab it. If they were Radiant Zara, we could have killed it too, but it's fine if they go Charizard EX. Yeah, if they get another uh, Charmander here. Yeah, there he is. We just got to make sure we hit boss, I guess, to take the knockout. That's why I need double Snorlax, because it makes it easier. They could lost Vacuum the XP share off, which would not be good. Then I got to get double energy to knock them out. That could be an issue if they uh, Vacuum the XP share off. Do they have Pidgeot, maybe? Hmm. They could Iono me, which would be annoying, just because I do have a pretty good hand. But Iono can get me closer to being able to get this knockout. So, it wouldn't be terrible. So, I just need an energy, right? We just need an energy and two tool, two more tools to knock out this Charizard EX. So, hopefully we can get it. There's an Ultra Ball. Uh-oh. Oh, do they have the Pidgeot? Hopefully not. I mean, they've only played one rare candy. So, like, the odds are not great. But, kind of hoping they don't got that big Pidgeot. Pidgeot is kind of an annoying card. Even if they get Pidgeot, what are they going to do other than, I guess, Iono, right? Iono or Research? I mean, if they boss Snorlax, we can just, like, Super Rod it back. And oh, they have Rekini Pidgeot. We could try to kill Pidgeot, I guess, with Boss 2 at some point. But at this point, it's just kill Luminion. Well, they could. No, they're not. They don't have Rekini Pidgeot. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right, we just need an energy here to knock out this Charizard. Hopefully, we can draw a Raihan or something. Just got to draw an energy, and we got this KO. Do I ever Super Rod? I think I save it for the Snorlax. All right, what do we draw? Energy. Boss. No such luck, unfortunately. Um, feels bad. Three energy in the deck? Bro, we prized, we prized three energies. Jeez. I think we're going to have to do the super... I think we got to do this. Let's have another Maractus in the deck. I don't need... Don't need to put the Maractus back. Pretty nasty prizes. Just got the Bruno. We got to get an energy and two tools. Nice. Let's go. Whew. I was kind of worried we weren't going to get it. Not going to lie. Okay. We can take the KO. Do I have a toolbox here? We can play toolbox just to like, just to play it. 
Then I can Bibberol. And I might need that for next turn. Is it put up? Hmm. That's fine. We'll save it. We have Ultra Ball. It's not a big deal. We'll save the toolbox. Could could be useful. All right, ditch and shake. Here we go. Hopefully, we get like some energy out of the prizes. All right, we just need four tools to knock them out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Knock out that uh, Charizard EX, and all we have to do is knock out one more EX, and we win the game. All right, let's see what our two prizes are here. Energy Snorlax. I'll take it. I will happily take energy and Snorlax. The energy is fantastic. I don't have boss though. So we'll see what happens. If my opponent attacks, I mean, they have to go Radiant Charizard. They're trolling if they don't attack with Radiant Charizard. They have to be trolling. They could still vacuum the XP share off. This is where Cherim just kind of comes in handy. Um, but we'll see what my opponent does here. We just got to find Boss to win this game. Okay, they're locked in on Radiant Zard. They didn't get a Rare Candy Charizard. Well, this Mysterious Tail should get them a Rare Candy, though. I mean, if they Iono me, we could also hit the uh, Boss combo to kill that Luminion. No! Vacuum! My EXP share! No! No, not my EXP share. Okay, that's annoying. This is why we have to play Cherim, because the EXP share can get bodied by the cheese of a lost vacuum. No, the lost vacuum. No, my EXP share. I hate that. No. <laughs> that sucks. Go ahead, bro. Get rid of my EXP share. I didn't need it anyways, bro. My fun deck didn't need it. Yeah, what do we do without Cherim? See what they do here. I mean, they didn't get rare candy, so I mean, I guess I'd rather them not get Pidgeon play. If actually, there's a world where they don't even attack me this turn, they need an energy or a switch, and they're already down like six outs. Nope, I'm trolling. They had energy. Do they have a supporter, though? Is the question. They have a super rod. Hopefully, we can just win the game here. We'll see if we can pull it off. Just need boss. Sure, they had the Iono too. Of course they did. All right, what do we got off the Iono? We got an energy. That's good. All right, we're not out yet. We got the energy. Question is, do I go double Snorlax? What if they don't attack me here? They mentioned another Entei. Or are they? Yeah, okay, that's fine. They have to go Zard. Honestly, even if they go Zard, they're down there escape, bro. They have a two-card hand, no Pidgeon play. There's actually a chance this thing can't even do anything next turn. I mean, I guess they can get Radiant Charizard and or Charizard EX or and just retreat it, I guess. Which is fine if they do that. I think we still want to take this KO though. I'll right, we'll see we draw Nest Ball. Hmm. Still have a Raihans and stuff, right? We could just win this turn. Yeah, I'll get another Maractus for now. I could get the Snorlax, which would help us guarantee this knockout. But, like, I already have the Toolbox. So I don't know. I should be okay. Even if we don't knock him out, really not the end of the world. All right, Bibberol. And I whiffed the Raihan. Hmm. Sorry, Toolbox. You're the oddball out. I need Bibberol. This is why I bench Maractus. I don't have a way to pivot into the Bibberol. Kill okay, Bibberol for three. There we go. EXP share two is pretty good. Well, I have to get rid of it to get the knockout, though. Do I really want to do that? Hmm. I maybe should have got rid of the Snorlax, but I need it for next turn. Do I take this knockout or not? I actually don't know if I want to take the knockout here. Might just get another EXP share. But they have another lost vacuum in the deck. We have two bibs. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm going to take this knockout. We have double bib roll. I'm not... Yeah, I think it's fine. It's fine. And it sucks I had to have 106 HP, though. Yeah, had I kept the toolbox, we maybe could have knocked him out. And then kept the XP share just in case. But I'll be okay. Energy off the prizes? Okay, there we go. See, now we just need Raihan or an Energy and we win the game. Because we have double Snorlax. They might not even have the attack. If I Iono them instead of Raihan, it would have been harder for them. They might not have the Charizard here, but we'll see. 
mean, they do have Fleet Footed. No, they do have Charizard. Yeah, there he is. The big lizard. I'm hoping we don't see a crazy play by my opponent here, but we'll see. It's actually bad they're going Entei because it is a bit more bulkier. And I don't have a Ventral Punch on, and I wasted my belts. Okay, we'll see what happens. See what they do here. Do they have a boss? Hopefully we just draw a boss or something so I can just get, bring in this Charizard. Because even if I whiff, they still have to, like, move the Charizard, which is unlikely. So we can, like, buy a turn or something, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what their play is here. They have four cards in hand. Is there any other thing? They have a third Iono. Getting Iono would not be great, but it wouldn't be bad either. Gets us closer to winning the game. Arvin? Okay, that's not Iono. What does Arvin get them that could be a problem for us? I don't think there's much in the deck. They could have grabbed the Vacuum, so I mean, hey, I'm glad I didn't attach the XP share because I could just Arvin for a Lost Vacuum. And there goes my XP share. Let's see what they Arvin for here. I can't really think of anything they can grab. Rare Candy and Forest Seal, yeah. I mean, I guess they can get Pidgeot. Yeah, they have the Pidgeot, I guess, which... Again, they've already played a supporter, so I mean, the Pidgeot's not really a threat right now. Unless they play Bravery Charm. Yo, Bravery Charm in, in Charizard EX, bro. Busted. Not no shot. Actually, ironically enough, Pidgeot would have been a pretty good attacker in this matchup because I can't one-shot it. I mean, I can, but it's hard. I need what? A lot of tools. A lot of tools. Okay, we should have them. I don't think they can get much off Pidgeot. That can help them. No stadium. No tools, items, anything like that. I think they're basically locked in on the Pidgeot. There's Lost City. I expected that, but I'm like, yeah, like I said, no stadiums. I mean, the Lost City doesn't matter anymore, so. All right, we just have to not whiff this knockout, and we win the game. Easier said than done. Hopefully. Raihan? I think that's GG's, right? As long as there's a tool in the deck, I think that's game. Okay, I'm going to Bibberl first. I don't know if we have a tool. I think we have a tool. I'm not too... Okay, we have a tool. That's game. All right, we won. We got him. Funny enough, we only knocked out one Charizard X this entire match. Okay, we had a belt too. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay, cool. The belt's actually good too. We don't even need... We can just get rid of four tools. Yeah, funny enough, we only knocked out one Charizard X, and Maract is supposed to be like the Charizard Destroyer, and we only had to kill one Charizard, but... That's the power of being able to put energy in play for free. You can just attack with whatever you want. But luckily for us, we can niche and shake and knock this big bad Entei out and take the dub. With Maractus taking out my opponent's Entei deck with Char. I might, might as well be an Entei deck. They used Charizard once. Because Charizard is just a ridiculously broken card that doesn't need to attack half the time. But there you go. Maractus tool drop beating my opponent. Maybe could have played a bit better. I definitely shouldn't attach the leftovers to Cleffa when I did. But the deck definitely did its job. And we were able to stomp on my opponent. All right, against Gardevoir here. Beatable for sure. Kind of wish I opened Cleffa and not Maractus. Or Bidoof, sorry. Because I could have retreated into Cleffa. Yeah, I probably should have done that. We'll see what happens. My opponent does have Mew. And what else do they have? Gardevoir is beatable. We can mainly one-shot most of their stuff, which is cool, but not when they get double VIP turn one. You hate to see it. Yeah, I should have opened Bidoof. I could have went into Cleffa. That's if Cleffa's in the deck, though. It might not be in the deck, so I don't know. All right, it's a pretty good turn one. Okay, we drew Switch. That can get us Cleffa. Yeah, I guess we'll go Cleffa. Should have retreated, though, for sure. It was a misplay. We already have Bibberl in hand. I might as well just hold it. Could have bruno but I think we'll hold the hand. Got Snorlax, Bibberl. I think it's not terrible. We'll see if they get the knock out of my Cleffa here. They could even just go Rare Candy Gardevoir knocking me out with Mew, which is kind of funny. Um, but we'll see if they end up doing that. Yeah, double VIP turn one. Pretty good. But we'll see if we're able to keep up in this match. We don't need too many tools to knock out their stuff. Other than the big Gardevoir EX, but that's fine. Yep, there it is. They always got it, but they got the Shining Arcana Guardy, not the Garvery X. And they have an Iono. That's fine, maybe. I mean, that hand actually was pretty good. This hand is pretty bad. Okay, cool, Iono. Nice. Hopefully, we don't get KO'd here. It's not looking too good, though. They just need to hit an energy off Shining Arcana, and they can just knock me out, most likely. Yeah, it's pretty bad. 
That was a pretty good Iono. My hand is pretty dog water. Unless I draw a supporter. A lot of tools in our hand. The potential's there. If I draw an Ultra Ball, we can ditch the two leftovers. Like, the hand does have potential, but we just didn't draw any supporters or anything and no way to go Bibberls. So, uh, we might get farmed. We'll see, though. Hopefully, we don't get knocked out. They just need Rare Candy Gardevoir again. Looks like they didn't have Arcana, which is good. All right, let's see. Do they got a Rare Candy Guardy? Double car double Rare Candy in one turn? The Skill Diff? Let's go. Do they got it? No shot. Don't do it, please. Don't kill my Cliffa. We'll see if they got it. No, oh, they got that still. All right, they definitely got it. That's going to get a Rare Candy. Yep. We're dead. Nice. Great. Hopefully we don't get KO'd. Maybe they don't have it. They don't have it. Okay, wow. Unexpected, but okay. Ooh, we can KO their Mew here. Do I ever want to do that, though, is the question. I don't think so. Well, it's tempting. If I get EXP share... I can always fall behind on Cliff. Okay, let's see if we get EXP share. Eventual Punch is good. Can I get EXP share, please? Uh, no! Hmm. I still might just take this knockout, though, just to take it. Yeah, you know what? I'm still gonna go for the knockout, I think. Because I can... Ditch all these leftovers, which I want in the discard pile. That sucks. I really was hoping to get an EXP share off Toolbox. All right, let's see our prizes. Another Bidoof. That is not what I'm looking for. I need a Bibberol. If worse comes to worse, we can always just go back into Cleffa for a turn and draw more cards. It's unfortunate we didn't get much. We could draw Raihan, though. Or we could get Iono again, right? Maybe by attacking them, it baits them to Iono me. That was Cresselia. They could snipe my Bidoof, actually. Cresselia is really annoying. So I can just snipe my Bidoof. But we can go Snorlax, KO them back if they snipe my Bidoof. Is why I held the Choice Belt. There's obviously no reason to get rid of Choice Belt there, right? So, I'm not sure the Ventral Punch is really not that, that necessary in this matchup. I can't really see an instance where my opponent's going to use... We're, they're, we're going to knock him out with Ventral Punch, but you never know. It might come up. Maybe, probably not, but you never know. Maybe against Gardevoir EX, if they ever try to attack with it and wall with it, that 40 damage could go a long way. Makes makes the math a bit easier. Maybe. Yeah, the Cresselia is kind of annoying. I'm hoping to get Ionode here, but we'll see. Or draw an Ultra Ball. We'll see what they got. There's Level Ball. Problem if I go Cleffa. I mean, I can have another Bidoof. I can match Bidoof. Right, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. It sucks that Iono did not give me a supporter, though, but we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. If we had a supporter, we'd be okay. Or any XP share, even. We'll see if they go knockout Maractus or if they snipe Bidoof. They might go snipe Bidoof here, just knowing that I didn't play supporter. That's probably what they're going to do. But we'll see. Their hand is monstrously large, so I got to find Iono soon. They could do anything this turn. They could attack with a Garvory X, actually, which would be annoying. I can't knock it out in one hit anyways. Hmm. Unless I draw... Maybe a Brute... I mean, I could tech... If I can't... Okay, if I draw well enough, I could kill the Garvory X. Oh my god, their turn is still not done. Jeez, dude. Come on. <laughs> Bro, they're just sitting there drawing 9 million cards. That's crazy. I just realized how silly this all is. Wow. Yeah, their hand is ginormous. They're not done yet. They still have Ultra Ball. Yeah, Guardi's just so broken, dude. I hate it. I actually hate Gardevoir so much. All right, hopefully we can uh, see what they're going to do finally. Whether or not it's going to be Cresselia or they're going to take a kill with Gardevoir. Let's see what they end up doing. Attack with Curly? Yo, be my guess. And obviously they're retreating. Let's see if they go Guardi or, Cur or Cress. Okay, they're going Cress. That means they could crest. They can they kill Bidoof. They're gonna probably kill Bidoof, but we have to kill the Cresselia back and return bench Bidoof. We just need to unbreak. I mean, eventually though, they're probably gonna have to play an Iono, even though they can draw like most of their deck in three turns. Still, Let's see what they go after. They could snipe Cleffa, but obviously they're gonna kill Bidoof. But luckily, we have another one in our hand though. That's yeah, fine. 
will just bench the other Bidoof, knock out Cresselia. Artisan for Snorlax. Get double leftovers. This is why I like doing the Ditch and Shake, because I get the leftovers in the discard pile, which goes a long way. Okay, what's our top deck? Yes, we got an Iono. We get to get rid of their... I mean, it doesn't really matter. They have triple things, but still, it's like, you know. It's a thought that counts. Do I want to Iono? Yeah, I have to. What am I saying? I need. I just need to draw a tool. We whiffed. Okay, double Snorlax. We didn't whiff. I lied. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, we whiffed. We actually... Oh, but we didn't get a... Mm, we didn't get any XP share, though. So I'm unable... Uh, no XP share. Crap. I have to rely on Raihan. I didn't get it. Oh, man. Where are my EXP shares at? Yeah, no XP share. I can't knock out the Cresselia. Or I can't knock him out next turn unless I get any XP share. That actually sucks we didn't get any XP share. Wow. Okay, what's our prize? Nuss Ball, that's not great. I have to probably just Bibberol next turn and hope for the best. I need Raihan. Yeah, no XP share is really bad, actually, because now I'm unable to take a knockout. I don't have a way to attack next turn unless I draw Raihan. That feels bad. Oh, but they're going to boss me anyways. Are they going to go for my Bidoof again? They are. My opponent does not want me to put a Bibberol into play. Wow. Sure. That's fine. We can just keep knocking them out. This actually isn't too bad. I mean, sure. It's annoying, but it is what it is. We can KO this Gardevoir. Double Snorlax makes it so we can just keep attacking their Gardevoirs and knocking them out every time they attack me with one. The problem with the bench Bidoof, they're going to snipe it probably. But when we have Bruno in the deck, it might be okay. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We're probably going to need a turn where we KO this with a boss. It's unlikely. The 310 HP, that's a lot. We need, what, six tools? No, we need a lot of tools. All right, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. We need seven tools to kill that Garvory X. That's going to be a little challenging. Hmm. Temple of Sinnoh. It's fine. If they ever played a collapsed stadium, we'd be able to um, bump it. And then Cleffa can finally get off the board. Maybe we should try to put Cherim in play, because if they tried to trap Snorlax, we could technically attack with a Snorlax. That could be an option. It's one cool thing about playing Cherim in the deck, is you can build up Snorlax as an attacker. It's not a great attacker, but it is an attacker at the end of the day. Okay. We'll just Iono put Bidoof back in the deck and hope that we don't get Crest again next turn. But if we do, we just knock him out because of the Snorlax. That's some triple leftovers. That's not too bad, actually. Okay. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. All right, what do we draw? There we go. Now we'll Super Rod. Put these boys back. We'll Nuss Ball. Well, I don't know. Yeah, get rid of your nine card hand, Guardian. No big hand for you. Not today. What do we got? Got Bibberol. Not really going to bother playing the Artisan, obviously. I'm not trying to give him a free thing. We'll just double leftovers, knock out. Or triple leftovers, I mean. Not going to get rid of the XP share. It's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card. All right, knock him out and hope for the best. We might get Iono Cresselia here, which is the only thing I'm a little scared of, but we could still draw like Bruno and stuff. Plus, we can just kill the Cresselia in return. It's not the end of the world. All right, what's our prize? Ultra Ball? I mean, it's okay. I'll right, we'll see what they do. They could boss my Bidoof again. They might just be like, nope, I'm going to boss your Bidoof, knock it out. I was like, all right, bro, you really do not want, to put, want me to put a Bibberl into play, do you? It's kind of sad. It's kind of funny, though. I mean, Guardy's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. It's pretty good when you can draw half your deck in one turn. We'll see what they're able to do, though. Yeah, there's the Iono. We'll see they hit the crest. Hopefully, Iono doesn't brick me too hard, assuming we don't draw anything. Super odd and Iono. I'll take it. We don't have a way to get Bidoof in play, though, if they do knock out Bidoof. They just need they need Super Rod and a way to find Cresselia. No! <laughs> no! Are they going to crest me again, bro? Don't do it. No, not the Cresselia. Do they put it back? Or are they trolling? No, they put it back. There it comes. Here comes another round of Cresselia. Maybe? They put three cards back. That might decrease the chance of them drawing it off this Curlia. Or I'm just trolling and they just happen to hit it off the Curlia. How many Ionos are they down? They have two Ionos. Okay, did they get it? Did they get the crest? Say psych right now. Yes, let's go. We dodged the Cresselia. 
Good riddance. All right. Good. Good. Nice. All right. We're chilling. Just got to get another Maractus in play. Okay. That's fine. What's our top deck looking like? Boss. Does not do us any favors. Okay. Do I ever super rod? I don't think I do. It's gonna Iono. It's fine. Give me a roll. No! Oh, no. Ooh, that's really bad. We whiffed. Shoot. Um, It's not great. We could still maybe hit a Raihan combo if we're lucky. So never say never. Damn, I didn't know finding Bibber was so, so hard though. Um Yeah, we could still Raihan. I actually might attach a Snorlax. Cause if I draw Raihan. Yeah, sure. I don't know if that's a good play. I think it is. I think it's fine. Because if I draw Ryan, I can just attack with Snorlax, which can knock out like Cresselia and like Gardevoir. They take damage. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Can we draw Raihan? We go Raihan, attach Snorlax as an option. We have Clef as a Fruit Tree Pivot. All right, what do we draw off our prize? Another Energy. Not a good enough card, dude. It's actually really sad we didn't get a Bibbrel. Bro, I've played... Why haven't I played an Ultra Ball yet? What? Seriously? I mean, we might lose to Bricks. We do have the Clef to fall back on at least. So we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe they just don't draw. Maybe they run out of steam. They could Iono me again, which could be okay. Hmm. This is kind of sad, though. Not going to lie. These draws are just, like, I don't know. Not getting Bibberl down here is really, really bad. No, oh, they got the Cresselia. Well, okay. If they go Cresselia, we can still knock the Cresselia with Maractus. Now they're going Guardy. I mean, they can still Cresselia me, though. They're still able to draw, like, plus five cards here. They're out of energy, so... Oh, they have reversals. I was about to say, I could boss Greninja, maybe, but they still have reversal energy. Hmm. I'll see what happens. Okay, Iono, I'm fine with that. That As long as they don't Cresselia me, this puts me closer to Bibberl. Or I could draw the Bruno. No, dude, come on. Where are my things at, dude? This is ridiculous. Oh, no, here comes Guardy. This is bad. We might lose this game because I literally cannot draw a Bibberl to save my life. Do they have the crest? No, they're going Guardy. Okay. Bro, I literally can't find a Bibberl to save my life. Dude, come on, bro. Don't let it in like this. Oh, man. This is rough. If I had any XP share on this, that'd be nice. Maybe I should have put that on the Snorlax. All right, what do we draw? You can't make this up. Where are my Bibberals? What the heck? What is this madness? This is bad. Um. So now in order to win the game, we have to boss knock out their Gardevoir. Because I literally can't draw Bibberal. All right, we're just going to grasp and draw. There is no boss there. No Bibberal either. I think we're going to lose this one, folks. We just ran out of steam. For the life of us, we literally could not draw a single way to get Bibberol in order to win this. So I think it's just game over. We'll see if they have another Iono. Let's see. I mean, the only other way to win is to maybe trap Greninja, but I don't know. If they play their last reversal, we could maybe boss Greninja. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. It's just unfortunate. We got a little unlucky with our draws this game. Like, literally, somehow, we found no Bibberol the entire match. I can't really do anything about it. Only way to win the game is to boss the Guardy. We'll see if that works. And they still had another Iono. Of course they did. All right, there goes our hand. What do we got? Where are my... I, seriously, I don't get a Bibberl of that either? Oh, come on. Really? You got to be trolling at this point. Damn, okay. You can't make this up. <laughs> How do I, dude, I drew seven cards and I got Iono'd and I still don't have a Bibberol. Come on, at least let me go out with passion and dignity. Yeah, the only way to win is to boss Greninja and hope they have no way to move it. Oh my god, still no Bibberol. I actually, I cannot believe I didn't see a Bibberol this entire game.
That's actually crazy, dude. I haven't even I haven't even played an Ultra Ball yet. Okay, that was just some bad luck on our end. Well, I think we would have won this game no problem. We just had to keep trading with knockouts, which we were on course to doing. But yeah, we just literally could never draw a Bibberol at all to play the game. That's that's crazy. I actually cannot believe I didn't see a single Bibberol this entire match. That's 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 crazy, dude. I can't right now, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bad luck on our end. I think we were going to win that game had we just ever got a Bibberol in play. That's crazy. There you have it. That is Maractus in action. Pretty bad luck against Guardi there in the end. Literally never able to find one of our two Bibberol outs is kind of crazy. But overall, this deck is fine. And I think Maractus is a pretty good tool dropper. I think it might be the best tool drop deck right now over Electrode and Pachirisu. Because it is, of course, a Grass-type Pokemon. And that is really relevant right now with Charizard being all over the place. Um, I don't know. Any change to make would probably be to add more supporters. I think maybe a research could be good. Toolbox is cuttable. It did actually come in handy a couple times, but I definitely think maybe a toolbox is cuttable for a research or something. An extra supporter could go a long way in this deck. Another artisan could be good. Maybe two just more stadiums could be nice. You could play town store, obviously, but I like without artisan, you're just not able to set your board up. So I don't know if I artisan was pretty good. Being able to like get some relax and play for free and stuff was nice, but you could try town store, but. I don't know. I think Artisan's just better for setup. But that'll be it for me on my Maractus deck. If you want to enjoy the video on Maractus, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, sub down below. Help me on the road to reaching 51,000 subscribers. Yeah, we just hit 50K. So I want to thank you all once again for the big milestone on the channel. And uh, yeah, appreciate all the support on the content. Here's to 100K. Um, but yeah, check out Crackhead. If you get any codes, use code DF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, my second channel, and of course, the podcast channel, the Mental Might Pod, down below every Friday. Me and Linty upload an episode of our podcast. And yeah, that'll be it for me. Hope you all enjoy the video, and bye bye